energy in physics is the capacity for doing work. Energy is all around us, only in various forms. It is vital in our everyday lives as we use electrical energy to power electronic devices. And even our body transforms the chemical energy we get from food and converts it to mechanical energy that we use for motion. And heat energy for thermal regulation. Energy is present even in the smallest of atoms. Atoms are the tiny particles that make up every object in our universe, and these tiny particles are bonded together by an enormous amount of energy. This is called nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is an energy in the nucleus of an atom, and by collecting this energy from our tiny friends, nuclear reactors could generate electricity. But first, the energy from the atoms needs to be released. Nuclear energy can be harvested through two methods. This is what we call the nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is the combining of an atom to form a larger atom, thereby releasing energy in the process. This method is not currently feasible through our current level of technology. An example of nuclear fusion, facilitated by Mother Nature itself, is in our very own sun, as stars use this process to perpetuate energy. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, is a process of splitting atoms to collect the energy from them. This method is very much within our reach, as it is currently being used to harvest energy through the use of nuclear power plants. The use of nuclear power plants is as safe and efficient as an alternative source of energy, attested by the decades of success it has under its belt. Though the preceding nuclear disasters in Chernobyl and Fukushima plant the seeds of doubt and fear in several countries, they were uncontrollable mishaps. We should build upon the mistakes of the past to better ourselves, and we never know. Nuclear energy might just be what we need to counter the inevitable energy crisis.